At the refurbished police academy in Kabul, a group of fresh recruits is drilled in a scenario likely enough in Afghanistan. A raid of a hideout known to house several kidnappers. It's six years since the Taliban were driven from power here, but residual forces are gathering strength and from controlled areas in the south and east are bringing violence to parts of the country once considered safe. The cadet's performance is watched closely by a senior officer from the Italian Carabinieri, who's part of a force from the European Union contributing to police reform and training. It's a recognition that Afghanistan's future security rests as much in the talents of the police as in those of the army. Here, in a program launched by Germany, recruits receive a rounded training lasting between nine months and three years. Policing is a civilian task. You cannot gain confidence of the people in their police if it is going to fulfill military tasks. The administration of justice is intimately linked to the rule of law. And for those helping the Afghan government, reform of the judiciary is as pressing as police reform. Afghanistan is particularly complicated. It's gone through 30 years of civil conflict. It has a mixture of civil law, Islamic law, and traditional customary law. The process of building institutions such as the police or, or the justice system can only be done uh, progressively. Yet it can't come a moment too soon for these women. Without exception, they've been married off young only to flee years of abuse in their marital homes. Women like Huma. She didn't want her real name disclosed, fearing reprisals, but she spoke of a litany of acts of violence against her by her young husband. But it's not just the police, army and justice system that define security in Afghanistan. Economic opportunity, access to health care, the provision of a future for children do too, and there, there are clear signs of progress. You have a very remarkable improvement in the health sector. Now 80% of the population are covered by the basic uh, package of health services. We have a remarkable improvement in infrastructure and we have a big uh, jump forward in terms of education. In the eastern province of Nangaha, the EU's implementing partner, HealthNet TPO, has been leading the way with better antenatal and postnatal services, better outpatient care after surgery, and a program of continuing works and expansion. The healthcare system that's been built is designed to go to the people, not the other way around. The European Union is in Afghanistan for the long haul. Uniquely, it's pledged funding through to 2013, one measure of its commitment to supporting the peace and building the state through security, prosperity, and adherence to the universal rights which protect every man, woman, and child.